Welcome back, Kane's family, to another film review. Uh, we in the booth at the freshly flipping of NC State commit, a three-star Micah Newton <clears throat> out of Gainesville, Florida. I believe Newton's in Gainesville. Another inside-out tweener, uh, 6'3", 260 pounds, has a great first step. See him bursting through here as the quarterback has to step up. See him strip that ball out. Um, he's a tweener. He's going to rush a lot from the inside. Uh, here he is now at three tech. Um, a good, a good, good, good mix. I think, uh, I think this is the type of guys we like. Guys who can go inside and outside. Think of, you know, Ruben Bain, Keen Mesador, guys who can play with power inside but have the speed to rush outside. He's going through a double team here, still getting to the quarterback. Um, I'm really excited about his upside pass rushing inside. Um, you see another one here. This one looks like a freaking D cleater. We got a guy going low on him. Really strong, strong lower body. I um, mean, not going to be able to cut him. Uh, he's going to go right off that and burst right past another O lineman. Uh, that center is never going to get to him in time. So that's a dead body uh, as that quarterback, as you can see. Um, great first step. Has a actually good closing speed inside the tackle box. So this gets me excited because I like D tackles that can shoot the gap. I do think he'll come in as a strong side DN and they'll just end up playing him, you know, inside here and there. Here and there, I mean, often. At the three, right over the guard, um, you could just see. Uh, inside, really good hands. Um, good hands outside as well, but really good hands. He's using that to his advantage. Uh, that guard stood no chance. That quarterback stood no chance. Um, love the closing speed of him, man. He has really good bursts. So, yeah, easy knocking quarterbacks the hell out. Hell yeah. But it's really because of how fast he's getting to those quarterbacks. You guys know me. I like these type of guys. Tweeners, they can go inside and outside to play with great power. You know, think about it like Ruben Bain, you know, Armando Blunt. Uh, you know, McKean Mesador, love guys can go inside playing with power, but have the speed to play outside. Look at this hands. You're literally just going to push that offensive lineman, that left guard right out of the way. Great hands. I'm telling you, really, really good hands. It plays with a lot of play strength. Love it. Love it. Love it. There's the motor. You see it right there. Reach through one, <clears throat> one uh, left guard has to battle the center, tracking down, tracking down, tracking down as the quarterback's trying to manipulate the pocket because uh, his end is over there giving some pressure. His opposite is DT, excuse me. Um, then he's able to track that down. So high effort, high motor. Um, to be honest, I love this flip. Um, you know, it's just a, a what do you say? Uh, a thing to come. Like we're gonna run Gainesville in August thirty first. So you might as well start by you know flipping some good talent over there. Love the bull rush here. You see him bull rush, bull rush, bull rush. But eyes on the quarterback, man. Of course, this quarterback gonna try to take this lane over there. So love the length and strength uh, to just literally disengage from that block. You know, why are you going to keep playing patty cake with this guy and keep dominating this guy when the quarterback's running right by you with the fucking ball? Uh, so I hate seeing that type of shit. So I love that. Uh, excuse my French, but I love that new one. I like the way he plays, bro. He plays hard. He plays strong. He plays smart, bro. He's dominating okay up. But, you know, what is dominating this guy going to do for me? I got to get off him and uh, get to the quarterback. So love the way he disengages. I do believe he'll be a true strong side defensive end uh, in this class. Such intriguing pass rush inside. I mean, look at this lockout here. This engages this lineman, pushes him back, and now he's on his timing uh, with that extension. So he's driving him literally back into the quarterback and until he folds that quarterback. Um, so I, I love it. But uh, look at the disengage last second. Dominate, 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 dominate. Basically, the, the lineman's here now to the running back helping him pass pro or helping him pass pro disengage now i'm on the quarterback i love that he knows when to disengage he's not going to just sit there and sit there and sit there and then be one of those guys you know guys running right past him so i i love his eyes um he's definitely a one track mind getting to the quarterback here um again a pass rusher inside and out i think the canes uh you know i <laughs> really are intrigued by that which is my type of guy I like those guys who can go inside and outside just gives you more advantages gives you more uh you know, you're not giving up. I mean, no, he's not a 300 pounder inside, but when he gets inside, he has a strength to hold up. Obviously, not for four quarters, but in spurts. Uh, so I, I like that. I really do. Like, look at this QB pressure here coming over here from the three tech. I mean, swim move. You, you'll see it. Mm, this moves the lineman to his left, and then you see that hand just going right over. You'll barely see it because that's how fast it is. Swimming right through. I mean, Knocking this guy, that ball had no no chance of being accurate. It's supposed to be a deep post. That ball ends up being like a fade. Uh, that's just because the quarterback couldn't step into it. So that's that's a uh, a game changing play. Uh, that's not going to show up on the stat sheet. But again, very intrigued by his pass rushing inside. Man, really good hands. 
put his hand in the dirt, be on the edge, he could stand up, be on the edge, he could put his hand in the dirt, and, uh, you know, play in the D-tackle box. I mean, very versatile defensive line here. You'll see him jump inside. Quarterback's going to go out. All right, and now I'm back out here. Quarterback's going to cut back inside. Now, okay, now I'm back on your ass. Um, this is white on rice. Uh, so, again, love his effort, high motor. You know, he's very quick. For 6'3", 260 pounds, he doesn't really move like he's 260 pounds, but he plays like he has that 260 pound strength. Very intrigued by his athleticism. Looking over here, he's at the nose right over the center, uh, and he's able to get out here for this jet sweep. I mean, brings really, really good athleticism of a D end. You see that first couple of steps? I mean, just look at that. Look at that burst off the line. Ain't nobody else moving like that on this damn picture. Uh, gets outside, able to get a speed guy down in space solo uh, before a defensive end, who's his defensive end's job to get that play. Uh, so, again, really, really gifted athlete. Um, he's going to have some more defensive end clips coming up here, but I love the inside, uh, you know, stuff from him. Again, inside, just love how violent he is. Look at this, get off the ball, and then get that guy right off him, swipe right through, and tear it is running back up for a TFL. I love his quickness inside the box. He has that really good burst off the line of scrimmage. Whether that's going to be on the outside or inside, I think he's going to play both. I keep saying that, but, man, he is violent. He looks like a fucking Mario Cristobal player. I mean, he's big, he's fast, he's strong, he's violent. I mean, it checks a lot of boxes. This would look like over there at Green Tree right now. Big, strong, fast, and violent. Very violent inside. I see him just disengage from people. Straight pushing that guard in there and a TFL. Uh, he's going to stay in his ground. I love the play strength. That's one of my favorite traits uh, for any defensive lineman. You know, can you just get a guy the fuck out your face, um, to be honest with you, with that strength? And he's definitely checking those off. League's going to shoot a gap here coming up. Here comes the zone blocking scheme. Uh, scheme. See everybody sliding uh, to their right. He sees able to shoot that gap here and get inside. So he can play with quickness. He can play with strength. Those are the type of guys we need in the building uh, that bring that versatility. Just another, you know, they can play all five positions. Those are the type of guys that we want. If you look at right now at the Miami de defensive line right now, all those guys could play multiple positions, not just, you know, your headliners like Bain and Mesador. You know, with Tyler Barron's playing multiple positions. You got Barrow who could play pretty much anything uh, on the interior. A lot of guys can move around. Upside, inside is just yeah, crazy. You see this drive, drive, drive. disengages all right now helmet's getting decleated uh because he's making impacts man i mean this guy is strong bro strong you see that helmet just fly off and he barely got a square hit on him he got he's still getting held by an offensive lineman which i respect because i mean you don't want somebody to just get a free shot on your quarterback so halfway through him he knocking the o lineman down and he knocking that helmet off i mean bro it's it's legit here in the inside bro you see the power now you see more hands i love the hands See that little swipe right here? Get off me. Really disengaging. Would love to see maybe a little wrap up there just because you never know. Um, but he gets the job done knocking that quarterback down uh, for the sack. So very high upside rushing the passer inside. Again, just like in this tape 100 times, you know, stand up edge rusher. He plays everywhere. I'm trying to get an outside sweep, outside zone out there. Uh, just, again, really quick. So he's not just a power player, not just a power player. Diagnose that to outside and. You know, as a defensive end, that's his job as containment. Uh, and he was not getting out of that. Board. This looked like Bain, uh, you know, tossing out that uh, offensive tackle over there at Clemson. I mean, the play strength is there. Uh, that's You have to have that type of strength if you want to be a tweener. I mean, he has a freaking offensive tackle on his knees. I mean, Buddy, Buddy is literally taking a knee mid-snap. Um, that's the type of play strength we want. Uh, for those type of tweeners. So love the flip, man. Keynes is working. Uh, and go ahead and like and subscribe. Go Canes.